Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Edmund Shabazi versus Gerald Murchard. Edmund Shabazi in 13-4, 2-3 in his last five fights. 26 years old, crazy, he's 26. 6-2, the 75-inch reach. Fighting Gerald Murchard, GM3, 36 wins, 17 losses, 2-3. 36 years old, 6-1 height with a 77-and-a-half-inch reach. 2-and-a-half-inch reach is advantage for Murchard. There's a distance where Murchard can strike with Edmund. There's a distance where he's absolutely going to get finished. The problem with it is Edmund gets taken down. Edmund is not great at his takedown defense, especially if you can create chaos. So Jared Marshall has a crap load of submission wins. Like I said, 36 years old, so that worries me a little bit. He's only been to a decision two. Uh, he's been to a decision seven times, but he's he's won two decisions. So again, that being said, he has 34 win finishes. 34, 28 of them by submission. With a guy like uh, Edmund Shabazian, who does hit hard, but also gets hit and does get taken down. I mean, this is a guy that he fought. Um, he destroyed Brian Barbarino, which again, shocker there, but fought uh, Shane, uh, what's his name? Let's see. Al AJ Dobson, that's what it was. AJ Dobson. And AJ Dobson was having success early. He's having success. I believe he even hurt Edmund early. He just didn't look good early. And I don't think you can get those same positions as with GM3. I think GM3 is a submission guy. It, he does take a min minute to uh, wake up. He, he has been finished by punches 100%. I do believe, though, um, Tiago Santos was the first guy to finish him with punches. Yes. Tiago Santos was the first guy to finish him with punches, you know, and then uh, Heinish did it, and then Hamza did it, Pfeiffer did it, but yeah, still, four TKO losses, and the first one was Tiago Santos, I believe a weight class lower for Santos, anyways, doesn't really matter, but yeah, I would like GM3, I just think Edmund makes too many mistakes, yes, Edmund can finish him with punches, 100%, if he catches them, you know, cleanly, he can finish them. But I just think GM3 with being able to get Edmund down, which he will, he will get his back. I like GM, GM3 a lot, probably by Rudnick and Choke. I can see also a guillotine making Edmund shoot desperately. I like GM3 by finish. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, like, subscribe, like, comment. See you at the next one. Peace.